Listen, it's football. They've been to the Riverside, got a nil-nil. They went to Preston recently, got a one each. Um, they're a very honest, hard-working, um, together football team, and we have to respect that. And they've managed to grind out another point on the road. Bradley Dack bags his 10th of the season, but Rovers failed to take home all three points. Blackburn Rotherham, all square. We'll talk about it next. That's right, folks, back once again with another match review. This time, looking back at Blackburn Rovers' match up against Rotherham. And we'll get to that in just one second. Now, if you are new to the channel, where the heck have you been? Hit the old subscribe button to keep your bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, world football related. We've got it all here under one roof. Now, let's kick it into top gear and let's take a look at it. Rotherham against Rovers at Ewood Park. It all ended 1 1 in a game that Rovers controlled from the get go and they really Realistically, should be coming home with all three points. So, uh, if, if we are completely honest, it is a whopping two points drop for Rovers and a massive point for Rotherham uh, as they go away. Back down to the New York Stadium with an extra little bonus point into the international break we go. Uh, so, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a tough one, this one. Obviously, we come into this game fresh on the back of that 1-0 one, uh, one win over QPR. Uh, and I fancied our chances here. I thought this was going to be the game that we were going to put down a big statement of intent for the for the rest of the championship to kind of have a little extra look at us. But today was not our day because there was a lot of crazy score lines in the championship. We'll look at those in a minute. But this one or draw is a bit. It does flatter Rotherham immensely because it was all Rovers. If you have a look at down the bottom there, the statistics: twenty five shots for Rovers, only thirteen for Rotherham. And Armstrong played an absolute blinder today, uh, causing all kinds of problems down that uh, left-hand side for Rovers or the right-hand side for Rotherham. Depends on how you look at it. 12,847 uh, people were in attendance at Ewood Park to see this pan out to be a one-all draw. Uh, Smith opened up the scoring for Rotherham, Rotherham on the flip side, uh, completely up against the run of play. I have no idea whether there's a big fat star next to Smith's name uh, for, for Rotherham. Maybe he had one touch, one goal, that sort of thing. But realistically, he... Yeah, yeah, he was he was left to do uh, very very little up up top. More defending duties, I guess, for Smith than than attacking. On the flip side, Armstrong was immense. Reed was immense. Uh, to be replaced by Nyimbi in the second half was also immense. And Brem Brereton uh, setting up. Bradley Dak for the equaliser on 81st minutes. But let's take a look at the statistics down at the bottom here. Uh, like I said, 25 shots to 13. Possession-wise, Rovers had the more of it. 66.1% possession went to Rovers. 339 went in favour of Rotherham. As for the pass success rate, Rovers had a greater pass success rate. 77% of their passes went to the intended target. Uh, Rotherham only had 57% of their, uh, percent of their uh, passes hitting the right uh, markers or people, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, uh, we had more dribbles to them, 92. More aerial tackles, 1, 24 to 15. Uh, rather more successful on the ground, 27 tackles to our 16. We had immensely, uh, far too many corners, 11 to 3. Uh, but we were dispossessed more than uh, Rotherham were, uh, 25 to 14. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. Here is the leader. Well, I would say the leaders. Here are my beloved Blackburn Rovers. David Raya, he made a return to the between the sticks uh, in favour of Lautweiler. And he had pretty much nothing to do. Bar picked the ball out of the net um, when Smith put Rotherham in front. But anyway, Bell, Rodwell, Lenahan and Bennett at the back four. Kind of a little makeshift back four. No Williams. No Mulgrew and no Naimi to start. Uh, then Smallwood, Reed, and those, those defensive midfielders slots. Dak, Armstrong, Palmer, and Graham had the honours up top. Uh, and there were a lot of chances for Armstrong. He was ripping them up. Danny Graham had a quite a few chances as well. Realistically, we should be coming home with three points, but we are not. Uh, anyway, take a look at my match ratings. Uh, first and foremost, Ryan had a five, just purely because he had little to do. Bell had a six. Um, he he had a lot of ball and his link up play with with Armstrong is good. I just feel a little bit vulnerable with him sometimes. Um, there was a couple of errors that he that he uh, that uh, went his way that kind of led to some nervy moments. Uh, Rod Wells had a six again, commanding enough, but he was uh, you know I think I might be a little bit harsh on Rodwell. He'd probably have a seven as well. If, if I could redo these, maybe. Uh, Lennon had a seven. And Bennett had a six into the old midfield. Small had a six. Reed had a seven before his uh, half uh, or his game came to abrupt end in the second half. Dak had a seven despite the goal. Armstrong with an eight. Palmer had a six. And DG had a six. Just purely because he couldn't stick the ball in the back of the net. Anyways, take a look at how Rotherham lined up. Roderick in goal. Mattock, Wood, Robertson, Viner. Uh, and then Ajayi in the middle there. 
Newell, Manning, Towell, and Williams, and Smith up top. And once again, I completely, I, I double bluffed myself. There was a, a view out there who said Volks was suspended, and it clearly looks like he was suspended because he's not playing. And I, I thought that he was, uh, well, I believed him, but then I did double checked, and then it realized that he wasn't suspended, but maybe they hadn't updated their charts or something. So 100% do apologize uh, for getting that wrong. So Volks, no show. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at some of the more detailed statistics right here. Uh, this is the uh, shots. Uh, we are the orange. And look, how many, look at them. We peppered them. We peppered the, the old bad boys there. A load of efforts. Rotherham kept uh, minimal, minimal chances. But anyway, more detailed statistics here. We had 486 passes uh, compared to their 252. Um, what else do we got? Touches. Where's the touches? Is that usually on here? Yeah, we have 712 touches compared to their 499. Uh, down the bottom there, you can see where all the shots took place. Uh, and as you can see, just the one for Rotherham in the bottom left angle, bottom right hand corner, and that one in the back of the net. Yeah, and then the rest, Raya was just like taking it easy. Um, and yeah, same deal for, for, look, for, look at Rodak. He must have been a busy boy. He had uh, two, four, six, eight of them on target, nine if you want to include the goal, uh, and that went in the back of the net. Anyways, take a look at the heat maps. Uh, look, look at that. Rovers all over the place, throwing the ball all over the place compared to Rotherham. Just very, very uh, hot topic is the uh, the goal area where Rodak will be. And then up top as well, causing some problems. With them. And maybe that's that's why Smith got a, a, an eight, eight star. But uh, down the left-hand side, down the right-hand side, problems everywhere. Uh, all in all, it's just a frustrating afternoon uh, to walk away with just the one point. When a game where we should have really bagged all three and and a, and a goal tally to 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 be flat to be to be proud of um but let's move it on take a look at so what the what the fans and what the players have been saying on social media daryl Lennon kicks us off disappointing not to have taken all three points today boys put in a performance that deserved the win but we'll take the point and move on indeed david raya said this not all we deserve but we get we never give up and never lose the faith i'd like to thank the fans for welcoming back uh, and the support I had the past few weeks. Uh, moving on to Ryan Niyimbi. He said this, not the result we wanted, deserve more from it. Take the point and on to the next one. And meanwhile, Rotherham player said, uh, Will Volks said this, and breathe. Well done, boys, because they were so under the cosh throughout the game. Moving on to some of the fans. How, did, how we didn't win that, I'll never know. But it's another point on board. Better than a loss. Good effort today from all the lads. Meanwhile, Chris Martin. Uh, not the one from uh, Coldplay, but uh, another Chris Martin. Another game. Another Brereton substitute appearance. Another assist. Another lively performance. It is, is it finally time for us to acknowledge that this kid is actually quite good? Hashtag Rovers. Hashtag back the Brereton. Meanwhile, Callum Prescott said this. A Ryan and the NBA appreciation tweet. He's quicker than Usain Bolt. He's got more energy than a creator Lucasaid. He's Stronger than Fenwa. The boy has it all and he's only 20 years old. Well played, Ryan. And please don't get injured again. Uh, right smack dab in the middle there. Jen Bellamy, a.k.a. at Eric Blue Monster, has got this Ginger Ninja Appreciation Society. Ro uh, hashtag Rovers. Tweet out there. Uh, she's looking for likes. Get more than 100 likes and we're going to get some Ginger Ninja Appreciation badges available. So make that happen. I'm sure she, I think she's around about 70, 80, maybe even push it 90. Maybe you could be the one that pushes her over the edge to make 100. Kicking on further. Uh, Simon Woodward said this, or Simon Woodford said this, sorry. Not quite sure how we didn't win that, but we'll take the point and move on. Did I? Yep, that's pretty similar to what someone else said. Uh, Kyle Smith, on the other hand, says, we'll pick up points where we shouldn't and drop points against the so-called lesser teams. Oh, well, I would have took this at the start of the season. It's still frustrating, though. Meanwhile, Sahil Bujwani said this, I feel we outplayed a team that's the same league as us. Yes, two points dropped, but the performance is a bigger positive. Indeed it is. And Neil Mash said this, two points lost there, Tony Mowbray. It is two points lost, but it is a point on the board. If you ever take a look at a, a, a quick summary of those last three games, five points out of those three games, it's, you probably would have expected to win the Rotherham. The way QPR were going, you would have probably snatched a point in the game against uh, West Brom. You would have probably expected a defeat if you're completely honest with you and Jen Bellamy smack dab in the middle there says post-match thoughts many a positive to be taken from that especially the second half performance mostly frustrating not to have won but look how far we've come folks on our way back hashtag rovers never know what I've had to say about the match what you really want to hear is what the gaffer had to say shortly after the final whistle between Blackburn Rovers and Rotherham yeah it's um frustration is probably the best word I think I think obviously second half. I think we struggled a little bit with their directness and their their um, long throw-ins and forcing us back. We didn't deal with the first ball very well for staff. We managed to resolve that at half time, but um, and played how, how we would have liked to play. I think it's 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 
I think the second half was as as, as good as in possession, creating chances and shots that we've been, and um, just a real frustration that we only managed to score one goal. Frustrated with the officials, how oh, they let the time wasting just roll on and roll on, and then unbelievably only put five minutes up. So, and yet it's done now. We had to, they're just little moans from me because of the frustration still in my belly. But um, a lot of good play today, a lot of individual good play, got into great areas, created good chances, and uh, just wasn't to be. Yeah, I think so. And then they went and scored from their only shot on target. But um, that's. Listen, it's football. They've been to the Riverside, got a nil-nil. They went to Preston recently, got a one each. Um, they're a very honest, hard-working, um, together football team, and we have to respect that. And they've managed to grind out another point on the road. Yeah, our, our skipper wasn't available either, and Derek Williams, who's been filling in for him, wasn't available either. Um, so we had some big losses before we started the game. Then obviously Harrison Reed is a loss as well. Um, well, it didn't seem to hinder us, you know. I thought we controlled the game. We got it in great areas. We got it wide. Armstrong had a, a hot day today, and um, we just ultimately left disappointed and dropped two points. Seven or eight minutes on the on the extra time, but it wasn't to be. It, um, but yeah, we were left frustrated. I think. Um, yeah, I, I thought we could score again in that time, in that period, because they would be trying to hang on. Um, they've done it to a lot of teams themselves, to be honest. They scored a lot of late goals at, at their own stadium, and. Um, and we had the chances to score again, to be honest, but it wasn't to be. Yeah, I think all the subs, are, you know, it's there. the bench looks pretty strong, I'm saying that, and that's without Mulgrew, without Williams, without Davenport, again, who's d d pulled a thigh muscle in training, unfortunately for him. It's, um, never mind, you know, the longer term injuries of Samuel and Gladwin, but, um, but the, you know, the squad is, is all right at the moment. You know, even carrying the injuries, we looked pretty potent at times today, and... Um, um, you know, we'll, let's see. Let's see how we go in the next. We've got a break now. Of course, it would have been nice to get three points, but it's we just move on to the next one. I'm pretty sure, almost, almost 100 percent sure they will be, because they were pretty close today. But um, so yeah, hopefully we've got some decisions to make in the next few games. Um, I think it'll be pretty much to do everything in about 10 days' time, and then so we'll get a week's training prior to the next game and. Um, but yeah, it was obviously it's not okay because he would have played today if it was okay. So um, there's still a bit of damage there that needs repairing. But it'll it'll only take a week or so. Meanwhile, elsewhere in the championship, it was a bit of a bonkers old weekend. Uh, Swansea City picking up a monstrous away win against Bolton, who are free falling down the table. As for Preston, they picked up a massive victory against Bristol City. Reading and Ipswich ended it all square. Paul Lambert cannot get himself a victory. Borough picking up a monstrous home win against Wigan Athletic. Uh, with six goal thriller between Birmingham and Hull ending at all square three apiece as for Norwich they topped the table after a seven goal thriller what a game that was Jordan Road amongst the scorers 4-3 winners over Millwall. Meanwhile, last time out, we took on QPR. They beat Brentford this weekend in a 5 goal thriller, 3-2. Derby against Aston Villa ended at 3-0 win for Villa. And right here, right now, hard off the press, West Brom smashed Leeds United 4-1 in the, uh, the late kickoff. Uh, to give themselves a big boost into the table. As for Norwich City, they are top of the table. Two points clear of Middlesbrough in second spot. Leeds in third. Uh, Sheffield United in fourth. West Brom fifth. And Derby are in sixth spot. As for the bottom end of the table, Hull City are third from bottom, bottom second. And Ipswich prop up the table. Paul Lambert got a massive job ahead of him. As for Rovers, we are in ninth spot. Rotherham are in, where are they? 19th spot. So they've dropped a little bit. So, would you have taken that at this stage of the season, Rovers fans? Of course you would. Uh, kicking on further into the next fixtures, obviously international break coming up, but in two weeks' time, we will be taking on Preston at Deepdale. That'll be a uh, three o'clock kickoff. As for Rotherham, they got a tasty one, an early kickoff against Sheffield United at the New York Stadium. Other tasty ones in store, the Battle of the Olsen Brothers, Swansea City up against Nor Norwich City, Sheffield Wednesday take on Derby, uh, Mill against Bolton, that's a relegation dogfight right there. Uh, what else we got? Uh, Villa against Birmingham. That's a bit fruity as well. That's pretty much all I've got for you today, folks. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a good old thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the old subscribe button to keep you bang up to date. With all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, world football related, we've got it all here under one roof. Also, make sure you check out the old description. Links to my other social media platforms are in there. Twitter, Facebook, it is all in there. Um, and also, yeah, we go into the international break with a little bit of a spring in our step. Obviously, it would have been nice to come in with all three points, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Also, just want to say uh, thank you to all my subscribers, especially the new guys that pushed me over the edge to 5,000 subscribers. That was my target for uh, back in uh, back at the start of the season. 
Um, I was hoping to get there by May, and we're here by, what, six months in advance? Absolutely bonkers. So now we've got to try and kick on and try and get the old big 10K. Oh, I don't, I don't even know. I don't, I, don't want to be, I don't want to be bold and say, maybe by the start of next season, we'll go for 10. But we want to be in August, 10K, Blackburn Rovers Seas, baby. That's that's the plan. That's the new plan. But yeah, also, to, but I really want to also thank all the subscribers who were there from the get-go, who way back when, who were there when I first uploaded the old videos, way back when, the old shady videos, when you, when you look back at them. Some cringy moments in there. But yes, it's been a rough old ride. It's been uh, some long hours. Some blood, sweat and tears have gone over into the channel over the past 12 months. Really kicked kicked in gear. Because at the start of last season in League One, I think I was around about 300 subscribers, give or take. Uh, maybe 400. Um, and here we are. Just over 5,000 now. So it's absolutely bonkers. Whether you're here for the Rovers stuff, here for the FIFA stuff, here for the Football Manager stuff, where we try to make Rovers black, black, when we try to make Blackburn Rovers great again, boys and girls. You haven't checked them out. They're, they're always a good laugh. Or you're here for the Premier League stuff, wherever you're here. I will be doing a thank you video because I've got some other stuff to, to talk about as well. Uh, and that'll be up in the next week. Um, I need a rest. But anyway, I'm going to let you get out of here. Uh, once again, if you enjoyed, thumbs up. New to the channel. Subscribe. See you all in a little bit. Ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.